because I've got a few on school day. These are the after school ones. So I've got today, tomorrow, next week, and next week. So five, ten, eleven ones left while I'm at school, and that's not including weekends. So after I've done the um, next two weeks, I will be home, and I will be joined by Lara. So go follow her on Instagram, Lara Stokes. And let's get started. So um, last night I was watching this called a Christmas Story. It is so sad. It made me really upset because <laughs> this is Santa's boy, and it's obviously sad it's going to happen. But his parents and his newborn sister went out to town, and they all died. It's so sad. It's like the baby in every Christmas. He goes and leaves a wooden statue at everyone's houses, houses and he puts one in the water for his sister and then he meets this girl he get, he meets this girl when she's younger she runs off and she's called Arda which is the same name as his sister and they become really close and she marries some other guy but they think Santa's dead but he they, one day at the end of the film he just turns up flying down from the sky in his sleigh and it's so sad. So it's such a good film. Another sad Christmas film that I watched was... Oh, sorry, I just lost my dice from my uh, Christmas tree. So here it is. Um, another sad film I watched was Santa Who. Because I find it sad because no one, only the boy knew who he was and no one believed him. And he was made to be someone else's stupid grandpa. So sad. Such a good film. Last night I started watching Nativity 1, 2 and 3 because every year we have an extravaganza where we all watch all three of the Nativity films and I want to watch them on my own. <laughs> this is a Nativity box set and every Christmas Eve I've got a tradition to sleep in my mum and dad's room because it helps me sleep more so that Santa can come because last year I had boot prints downstairs and I was kind of scared. So I went into my mum and dad's room and I was awake. I was lying in between them. And then I heard downstairs and it was obviously Santa because everyone else was asleep, which is my brother and sister. And so, on Christmas Eve, in the daytime, we're going to watch Nativity 1. Nativity 2 in the evening. And when I'm sleeping in the room, we're going to watch Dude, Where's My Donkey? Nativity 3. I started watching number one last night because it's amazing. Another film I, I watched was Arthur's Christmas, which we also watch every year as well because it's amazing. I was so sorry for that poor girl who gets left out, but she comes eventually. She gets her present in the end. But I think it's really funny when Steve goes to give the, he goes after Arthur with Santa and Mrs. Claus, and um, he goes to give the bike to someone. And he's in the wrong um, what's the place called? Um, they're in the wrong place because you know there's that town and there's one in Spain and one in England. And he, Steve tells him that he's just like that he's just like Arthur because they both click on the same one. And when they get to in the Spanish one, Steve <laughs> gives this boy a bike and then he goes Mostalesta, <laughs> and then he steals his bike off him because. It's meant to be for the girl. It's just so funny. Another film I suggest that you watch is A Golden Christmas, which is about these puppies. And it's such, such, such a good film. These are all my family's Christmas films, including the Tiffany, which I'm going to put on in a minute for you to watch. And we've also got a lot of other Christmas films. Each year I get a Christmas Eve box with pyjamas, a teddy, slippers, and stuff. And the Christmas film that I got from my Christmas Eve box was Christmas Who, Mr. Christmas. And it's about this poor family, and the, the other part of the thing is having a war, and it's Christmas, and these are the little girls, and she wants this pink bike, and he doesn't have enough money for the last one. So someone else takes it and he won't let it go. And I'm not going to spoil it, but they get a dog in the end. It's such a sad film. 
So yeah, this is my Christmas film collection. I don't have that many. You probably got a lot more than me. I've got a few more like Alvin and Chipmunks Chippets. That's only got a Christmas cover though. It's not really a Christmas film. Look, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. It's a Christmas cover. But I think it's just because it came out near Christmas. So I'm going to put a nativity. And you guys, I love aliens. I'm going to love it. You've probably seen it before, like most of you have. Oh, so nice. I'm just going to turn my switch on, just turn my telly on. Okay, it's on now. You can see such a good film. Uh, I can just say, can't wait till Christmas. Yeah, have a good Vlogmas Day 1. Okay. This is my Christmas puppy I got from Pets at Home. I'll show you all the Christmas films I like. Well, I'll show you all the Christmas hoodies I have that I like. Oh, big boy, guys. My first one. And my pet's a home puppy. I always find her adorable. And then, I got Flamber, which I got from Cornwall. Flambards. So the way you can see that, it's backwards, so it's Flambards. Because the camera's backwards, and it says Cornwall. And I've got her baby. And Scarf. So I've got from Poundland. Oh, look, guys. I love this one. Here we're going to pull up a chair. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm going to drop you. We're going to pull up a chair. I'll make an unfortunate everything. Those adverts. How fucking long are yours? Romeo and Juliet. I know Romeo and Juliet. I can't sit on this chair of pillows because it always sits like I'm like the edge. Oh my god. Oh. See what I mean? So many adverts on a disc. But luckily you can skip them with this trusty controller. At school, the field was all frozen so everyone was skating. Here it is! Nativity guys! Yeah. We're only gonna watch um five minutes of it. Cheeky. Because you deserve to watch it. Because you've been amazing. I promise you I'll vlog on Christmas Day. Okay. Everything's gonna be a bit backwards to you, but. Yes, I look like an idiot. And there's my girlfriend, Jennifer. With our best mate, Gordon Shakespeare. We were the three amigos of the world at our feet. Jennifer and her family always loved Christmas. And it was Jennifer who taught me to love it too. Gordon always said he loved Christmas, but the only thing he truly loved was himself. I'm completely above this. This is just pointless. 
Carol is my last Carol. I'd at least be five Christmas. Why am I not five Christmas? Look at me. I, I can't do this anymore. It's ridiculous. You know, you're really good, though. No, there's no control being an actor. You're just doing what other people's ideas are. I'm trying to be in control of them, like, just like, I don't know, like, like directing, producing. Well, you should I consider that, actually. I will. That's why I'm going to train as a primary school teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Three years, and if you're as bad as you are now, then give up. You know, it's just like, I, you know, like those stuff you can't act, teach, teach. and those you can't teach, teach, teach primary. primary. Who's the thing? Nobody says it. it's, it's true. Just like, true. It's like, it's true. You know, people say it's true. I've been doing the film. You don't get to watch that much today because, like, dancing so across the road. Because that'll be boring with me the for a whole hour. Really as I was a pearl when she went to Hollywood, the big lady produced her. And as for Gordon, he became a teacher at the best private school in the city. And every Christmas, his productions of The Nativity won the five-star review in the local paper. Gordon Shakespeare's three-colour trilogy has redefined Nativity with its rainbow of talent that hangs over the city of Coventry like a blessed gift. I hope you enjoyed that. Five stars. Jesus, Mary, and I'll show you Mr. Poppy when he comes on. So, I've got three pots of Play-Doh. I got pink one downstairs. But these three. We're gonna look at making some Christmas stuff. Wait. God's coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Don't worry, that's not my singing voice. You better not stand on town. It's so annoying. So, Bethlehem, Bethlehem, D E D H. No. Good morning, boys and girls. Some of you I remember were crying with us. So we are going to find a new place to make the best nativity play that has ever, ever been is Mr. Land's. Mr. Land's. Merry It's really funny. They have a school and they do their best. What do we do the best for this school? So, I've been filming Vlogmas, we've got to watch every day, it's going to get better. These children are literally useless. Literally useless. Please don't make me do this. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Each door you open, my hand just has writing. Today was. Make sure you have sent your Christmas list. I'm going to keep this. Right here. Hey, sorry, I love this list. Hello? Hi. This is the floor with a screwdriver. I'm just going to leave that, okay? I'm going to recommend
Merry Christmas to me. My God, why don't you play? I'm so sorry, guys. This camera is so annoying. Okay. He was so funny, he makes the whole thing so bad. So, um, I've got my best presents. The best thing to do, best film, Perry Friday. Makes the pig show from the lid. Can't put on. There we go. Look at the sweet thing here, it looks so funny. You should always remember to do meaning in Christmas is not present. It's spending time with family and it's Jesus' birthday. Well, if you believe in the last stuff. You don't have to believe! Oh, no, thank you. That's another. So, from the Christmas apps, I recommend to you guys would be Tap Santa, Photo of Santa, um, Spot the Santa, um, No Agri Starts Today, which we're going to check in one mini out. See you guys when I come back with No Ad. Oh my god, hi guys. Um, oh, I've got everything. So I have got scissors, a glue. A pen, my iPad, me, my, my now I'm on, my A5 paper, a paper, we're going to be doing some Christmas crafts and we're going to take more. Um, so, yeah, yeah, even though it's a Someone commented on YouTube. Um, so, we're going to keep going. I'm going to put an ad. I'm going to put my phone on top of the iPad. Um, guys, you'll see in a minute, don't worry. So, you don't need to think, oh, okay, that's going to go for Santa is because we're sitting. No ad. Because today, no ad started. We're in Santa's village and. What looks like. So cute. Um, we're gonna. Um, we're gonna find out where Santa is, aren't we? My Santa, I can't remember guys, so meant we're in Santa's village. Flip it on the legs, I gotta flip it in the mouth.
the real stars of the film, the pupils of St. Bernadette's School here. Mm. You must be very excited, Penny. Very excited, aren't we, children? Yeah! We only heard this morning that Hollywood are going to be coming to see our nativity play. We can hardly believe it! Oh, uh, check it out from Penny Freedom. I'm a pretty fan. But we saw all got for Santa Village. So we're going to go here first. Holiday to Disney from all around the world. So I'm going to click on mine in yours. This is weird, I don't want to see so this is cut the phone back on. No, I said it's you. Yeah, um... Oh my god, listen to this song, guys. Thank you. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, teachers. Yes, no, no, no. Good morning, no. gentlemen, professor. And um, where is it? Oh, it's working. Very, very exciting. Now, we're <laughs> going to do some Christmas games on the iPad. Okay, now we're going to go on to called Email Santa. Okay, what's that? Email Santa! So, so this is Email Santa. Oh my god, guys. I'm dropping you. This is Email Santa. And so now we're going to be looking at a few things. We're going to send him a line message. And if you want to see me doing email Santa, I've got on a load of other Santa apps doing exactly the same as this video, but the next. So if you want to see my Christmas crafts, email Santa, PMP Santa, and some of the nativity films, watch part two of this vlog because this is going to be probably too long for you to do. Bye guys.